this video is meant to be an overview. It's so don't get hung up on the details. Just sort of watch the demonstration and take a look at the uh, concepts or the capabilities without trying to memorize every detail of how to to do what I'm about to demonstrate. According to the 7.3 Instructor Reference Manual, agents, quote, support personalized learning paths and individual teaching styles while fostering enhanced student interactions and improved outcomes. What does that mean? Agents like actions, in my opinion, are pretty cool. On the, uh, on the agents console, I'm going to add a new agent, and I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to choose the type. I have three different types to choose from, scheduled, content, and event. The scheduled agent will run on a schedule that you set, so every Thursday night or you know, whenever. The event agent will run on when one of three events happens. Somebody logs in, logs out, or sends course mail, or a combination of those, some parts of those three. The one that we're going to demonstrate today is a content agent. It's the, probably the most similar to the action, which we've already demonstrated in a previous video. And so I'm going to select this to run for a certain content item, and I'll select the content item. I'm going to run it for a specific assessment, and the name of that assessment is another assessment. So I'll add that and close the window. And I want this to run for this uh, assessment when the assessment is graded. And the student's grade is between 0 and 70. So if they don't do very well when they take another assessment, this content item, or this uh, content agent will run. It gives me this nice little summary as I go of what I've developed so far. Next, I'm going to choose, do I want it to happen for a certain person? I could choose just Zoe, or do I want it to be a subset of people based on their rights or on a membership in a specific team? In this case, I'll choose that I want this to, content agent to run for students and course mentors, but not for course assistants or course editors. And I can also set a condition. In this case, I'll set it that uh, gradebook grades, the user has not scored at least 70% on a homework item called Washington Trivia. So if they flunk the assessment and they haven't done well on the homework, or if they do not have a grade for their homework assignment at all, then this content agent will run. And again, my little summary here is now updated. It tells me what I just said. And I can add another selection too. So I wanted, if I wanted to make it so that it will run when they haven't done well on the Washington Trivia homework or one of the other um, homework assignments, I could set up another user selection here, another user condition. Okay, so next. And I'm going to choose what I want to happen. These are similar to the actions. Or these are the actions. And if I want a description again of what each of these actions does, there's a link here that I can click on and it will bring open a separate window with the um, action descriptions. But if I choose, in this case, I'm going to have a team enroll. And I'm going to choose who I want enrolled, in this case the event originator, the person who submitted the assessment. I could have the person submitting the assessment have other people enrolled in the team, but I'm going to choose event originator. And the name of the team that I want them in to be um, enrolled in is study hall. And again, I can see the, um, the summary of what I've got so far. Now I can choose another action. So I could have, when they, they flunk the test and haven't done well in their homework, they get added to a team. An email gets sent to, the, to their mentor. Um, they get um, locked out of a certain folder. Um, they get redirected to a specific web page. I could have lots of different actions that are all going to happen from this one assessment submission. But I'll, for this, I'll just stick with the one um, team enroll. And hit next. And last, I see sort of a summary of everything that I've done. And I can jump back and edit. Like if I wanted to edit who this will happen to or what will happen, I can jump back to those places and, and edit just that part of it. Or I can hit Save. Now my action is all set up. All right, now I'm going to go to my Teams list here. 
and look to see the study hall team has zero members. I can see that right there. And I'm now going to log into Angel as Zoe. Okay, Zoe is logged into Angel and she's going into her course. She's going to the lessons area and she's going to take the Washington trivia. And to make a long story shorter, Zoe's now done with that trivia game that she's played there, and she's going to check her grades. Goes to the reports console, and she chooses grades, student grades, and runs the report, looks at her grades, and... Wah, wah, wah. Sorry, Zoe. Didn't do too good there. Okay, so now she's going to go to the uh, assessment called Another Assessment, and she'll take that. Go ahead and begin it, and the sea is full of water. True. The desert is dry. Uh, home to whales. Go home to whales. It's got to be the right answer. Submit. Okay. Continue. And she got a 50%. So she's going to log out. Okay, Scott's logged back in. And we'll go and take a look at the Manage tab. Teams. And study hall has one member. How about that? There she is. So she didn't do well and she got put in study hall. The end. Oh, <laughs> 